Welcome to UNCG. I'm Aaron Terranova. This is the Master of Science in Athletic Training Education Program, and you're about to be a preceptor. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video you're about to watch. Make sure you watch all the modules in our series, and I'll see you at the end of them for your final examination. Good luck. Welcome to the UNCG Entry Level Masters in Athletic Training Education Program, Preceptor Initial Training. Here's a series of modules. This module today, we're going to be going over module two, UNCG and what we do here. About UNCG, we are, we have been in existence since 2004, when so our first class came through. Um, we got it reaccredited in 2008, and that reaccreditation lasted for 10 years, so in 2018 we'll be up for reaccreditation. Uh, we are known as the Athletic Training Education Program or the Master of Science in Athletic Training Program that we talked about in Module 1. Those two terms are going to be used interchangeably. Um, the MSAT is actually the degree they get uh, as per Katie. Uh, you have to have the athletic training somewhere in your degree title, so we actually changed to a Master of Science in Athletic Training a few years ago. Uh, we are housed in the Department of Kinesiology, which is in the School of Health and Human Sciences, which is here at UNCG. Now, a little bit about our students. These are generalities. Um, and some of them will say these are some of the generalities of the uh, entry-level master's programs in general, which is one of the reasons why we're making this move as a profession to the ELM. Our students are pretty highly motivated. They're not here to go to undergrad athletic training and then go on to PT school. They're here to be athletic trainers. They know what they're getting into. Um, and they know what athletic training is, so they're very highly motivated to learn AT, to learn what it means to be an athletic trainer. They're coming in with a lot of experience. 200 hours is the minimum, but many of them are coming in with multiple 300, 400, 500, even over 1,000 hours before they even come into our program, which means they're going to have a lot of clinical experience. Now, how that experience is being used, that's going to be uh, varying from student to student, but they will have experience when they come in, even as a first year, first semester. Because of this, we can be pretty accelerated in our program. We don't have to worry about them taking uh, general education courses. They already have all those done. They are strictly here in a professional environment, so they're going to be working strictly on their professional athletic training coursework, which means we can be pretty accelerated and we can push them pretty much. Um, in terms of the type of student we get, we have all types of students. We have all types of undergraduate majors. We typically have a lot of exercise science, kinesiology, uh, health science undergraduate, but we have everything from business, entrepreneurship, anthropology, ge geography, etc. So our students are pretty varied, but they all come here with one common goal, and that's to learn athletic training, to be athletic trainers. But if you go and in the comment section below of this YouTube video, I'm going to post these links. But if you go to our webpage, which is located here, you can read even more about our MSAT program. Now, by uh, KD rules, we have to post this um, on our webpage so it's free for public consumption. So we have to post free or aggregate data of our first time BOC passing rate and our retention rate. We have to update it for. Uh, 2015, but we were 9 for 9 for 2015, so that will affect our average. So you can see our first time pass rate is 95% over the last three years, and overall is 100%. That'll actually bump up a little bit because we will uh, have another 100% passing rate, and our retention data is located here. So you can always come back and check our three year trends at this website, which again is going to be posted down in the comment section on this YouTube video. You can check out our faculty and our grad students, so these are our current uh, classes. We can go back and you can check out all our alumni pages. Um, and if you click on a student, so this is the class of 2016, here are all the students, all their pictures, and if you actually click on one, you can actually read a little bit about who they are and why they wanted to come to UNCG. So feel free to come here and, and kind of look around and uh, see, we have to get the class of 2017 pictures up. They're not up yet, but they will be up shortly. If you want to look about our application process, just so you know what the students have before they even come in here, I mentioned earlier they have to have at least 200 hours right here. They have to have at least a 3.0, and here are their prereq courses, anatomy, physiology, ex-phys, biomechanics, nutrition, and a personal health course. And you can go through the application uh uh, itself. The plan of study is located right here. So if you click on the plan of study and I open it in another window, we can come right here. And here's the order of courses that they need while they're here. Summer one is only for first year, then fall, 
spring one, fall two, spring two, etc. So you can see uh, the courses and what they need to take. Many of them are in the athletic training. They do have a couple uh, core requirements that you need for the department, and that's going to be Patho Farm and Optimizing course, and then a one research technique course. So uh, their integrative experiences are going to be their practicums, which are taken fall, spring, fall, spring. There is no summer practical experience. So here's their plan of study, and I will share this with you as a preceptor so you'll be able to take a better look at it. Finally, look at the clinical education. You can see that they're going to get a variety of settings in college, high school, and rehab intensive. I have to update this to reflect our new current sites we've added on. They're going to get at least one upper, one lower, one equipment, and one general medical rotation while they're here. A male, a female patient, an adolescent, and a general population. So they'll have a huge variety. And this is the trend of, of most uh, athletic training education programs nowadays is we're looking for variety. They might not be experts in all of these different settings, exposures, but they'll at least be exposed and have some sort of background in them moving forward. If you want to read the handbook, the handbook is available to you located right here. It's a simple PDF, so feel free to go through the handbook. So this is who we are um, as an institution. A full class for us will be 10 students. Uh, so 20 total, 10 in each class, although we are looking to pot potentially expand that up to 12, so we could be theoretically taking a class of 12 or, or 10 or something like that. Um, that would be a full class, so right now we currently have uh, 9 and 9, so we have 18 students in our program, which for a graduate level program is actually not a bad size. Um, our students are here. They'll be accumulating about uh, 300 hours per rotation. So at the very minimum, they'll have about 1,200 hours uh, of just clinical experience in addition to their uh, didactic coursework they're going to be doing. So that is uh, us in a nutshell. We're going to talk more about specifically how we run our ATEP program in a future module. But for now, feel free to, again, last time, click on the link. Uh, listen in the comment section below to learn more about us on your own free time. But that's the UNCG program. This is Module 2. Have fun moving forward into Module 3. We're going to start talking about the theory of teaching, learning, and critical education.